start collecting boxes because now you're gonna build something huge. Is it your head? No, it's a skyscraper and we'll need lots of boxes. But first, we'll make a work drawing. I'll close up the box and glue down the flaps before we start. Now we can draw. Picture your cardboard boxes as giant building blocks. If you build lots on top of each other, you will build a skyscraper, ending up with a tower and a flagpole on top. Let's get going! First, we need to cut and make the parts that we need to build the skyscraper. We need seven pieces of cardboard to make this skyscraper. The size of the cardboard should match the size of the boxes you're using. Start by making a long strip of cardboard. Next, a shorter rectangle and another even shorter but slightly wider strip. Now, draw a large circle. A small circle and two medium-sized circles, which should be slightly wider than a toilet roll. There we are, three rectangles and four circles. Here are some I already cut out. Next, we need a strip of stiff white paper. Draw one about this size and cut it out like this one. Now for the tower at the top of the skyscraper. Glue together the two medium sized circles. Then stab a hole through the middle. Just large enough to push a pencil through. There, that fits really well. Next, fold and glue the paper strip around the pencil to make a flag. You can draw whatever you like on it. I'm doing a small self-portrait. Stick the finished flagpole onto the toilet roll tower. Spread some glue around the edge and press it on. Step two! Hey ho! No box, you're not supposed to say that! Shape! Then we glue the boxes on top of each other, starting with the biggest box at the bottom. The plan is to make some larger building blocks from cardboard boxes and stick these together for your skyscraper. The first block is two boxes stuck together side by side with a bit of glue. The next block is three boxes stuck together lengthways. We'll say goodbye to these and hello to these. Dry and looking good. Also goodbye to these. <laughs> now we build. Use a large box for the base. On top of that, glue a sheet of cardboard to make it stronger and better looking for the rest of the skyscraper. Next, glue the two boxes on. While that dries, glue a small box on top of the other building block. Let that dry while gluing on the cardboard pieces we made back at the beginning. First, the short rectangle.
than the short strip. These will help keep the building together and make it look better architecturally. Next, glue on the biggest circle. This will be a clock on the wall. Now we'll do the same with the top bit of the building. Glue on the third cardboard strip you made earlier. Across all three boxes. Great! Now we are ready to... Draw! Now we can draw on all the little details. You'll get the best results if you do all your drawing while the skyscraper is lying down and in two parts. First, draw a majestic entrance with tall doors full of glass. Then, draw some tropical plants and trees. Some sculptures and decorative details here and there. I think every large skyscraper should have a big clock. So everyone around knows what time it is. Also, it looks really good. And finally, glue on the last little circle as a decoration above the main entrance. Look at it now. It's fantastic. For some reason, I feel like dressing up like an ape and climbing up that thing. No need to dress up, Box. Just climb. Paint! Then it's time to paint it up in any colour you wish. Let's start with some green for the trees and plants. Next, some white for the decoration. The glass doors and the edge of the clock. Now, dip your brush in some black paint and start painting some windows. These can go wherever you like and can be black, white or whatever strong colors you like if you want a colorful skyscraper. You can make the windows large or small, long or short. I'll just pop that to one side and start on the other part of the skyscraper. This also need windows the whole way up. Some black, some white. The distance between the windows is up to you either far apart or close together. Yes! Now we are ready to assemble our two big building blocks into one super-sized skyscraper. I'd do this on the floor if I were you. It's so tall! Finally, glue on the tower and the flagpole. Spread some glue at one end and press it down. Alright, we'll see it one more time. First, draw and cut all the parts you need. Next, make a tower with a flagpole. Now, make a building block for the bottom of the skyscraper together. And another for the top. Draw an entrance, some trees, a clock and other details. Start painting, especially windows from the bottom to the top. Whoa, hooray! Finally glue together your towering skyscraper. You can also turn your skyscraper into a lamp. Simply stick a light bulb holder and a lampshade on top and a power cord out of the back. Hooray, a lamp! Box, how about you? Do you have any more ideas? 
you can also use the same techniques to make other cool skyscrapers like these sky-high towers. This swanky luxury hotel. Ha ha ha! I did it! Can I start climbing now? You gotta wait until this sky is finished. There are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. 